application points of diminishing return. The point of diminishing returns occur at the points of inflection where the sales curve changes from concave up to concave down. This example, we're going to find the point of diminishing returns for the sales function s of x equals negative 0.02 x to the third plus 3 x squared plus 100, where x represents thousands of dollars spent on advertising. x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 80, and s is the sales in thousands of dollars for automobile tires. So first of all, we're going to find the first derivative and the second derivative. Solve the second derivative to be zero to find a hypercritical, and then determine the size of the second derivative, wherever it changed from positive to negative or negative to positive. The point it is the point of diminishing return or the point of inflection. So S prime is negative 0 0.02 times 3x squared plus 3 times 2x plus 0 which is negative 0 0.06 times x squared plus 6x. And then the second derivative is negative 0 0.06 times 2x plus 6, or negative 0 0.12 times x plus 6. Then we're going to find a hypercritical value, which is from s double prime equals 0 or negative 0 0.12x plus 6 equals 0. We get x equals negative 6 over negative 0 0.12, which is 50. And this is on the interval 0 and 80. Next, we're going to determine whether this is the point of inflection or not by using the real number line represent the size of the second derivative. In this case, it's the sale function. So S double prime of x equals negative 0 0.12x plus 6 and locate the point between 0 and actually 0 to 80. And the 50 is somewhere in there. <clears throat> so for the value that x is between 0 and 50, let's say let's pick the number, like for example, x equals 10. So 10 times, I'm going to get some colors. Let's see. If x is between 0 and 50, sorry. If x is 10, so we're going to have 10 times negative 0.12 or negative 1.2 plus 6. It's going to turn out less than, no, greater than 0. So then we plus 5 here. And then between 50 and 80, let's say 60. Negative 0 0.12 times 60 added by 6. The result is going to be negative inside. If negative inside, put the side here. So the side chain from positive to negative or from concave up to concave down. Therefore, the point of diminishing return is at x equals 50. We say x equals 50. The unit is in 1,000. And what is the sale? The sale at 50. The sale function is negative 0 0.02 times x to the third plus 3 times x to the second and plus 100. So replace the x with the value 50 to get negative 0 0.02, 50 to the third power plus 3 times 50 to the second plus 100.
we got a result 50, 100, but unit is in 1,000. So we put in the order pair, going to be x, comma, s of x, or 50,000, comma, 5,100,000, ,000, or 5 million, 100,000 as a sales.